I would think in recent years, the most interesting and moving story I've done was when I went to the mountains of Iran when the Kurds were fleeing from Iraq in midwinter and kids and women were dying of cold. I think probably the only time in all the, what, 50-something years I've been a journalist, I've felt that one has been able to help bring about change was when the Kurds were suffering after the Gulf War. And I think for once, the pictures moved the politicians to take action. I don't think it's the business of a correspondent to try and alter a situation he is reporting, to get actually in the way as, as a participant. I think all he, what he must do is, is, is report what is happening. I do think that uh, I don't really believe in objectivity as a, as a, as a, as a, as a goal, as a law, as an immutable law that journalists must, must somehow observe. I, I don't feel objective about every story I cover. I think there are occasions where truth is more important than balance. And I've found in my life as a journalist that this is acceptable. I mean, people talk about objectivity as though it's a god. I don't believe it's a god. I think truth is a god. But I wouldn't go any further than that. Dateline London is a Sunday morning program in which four foreign correspondents and one British correspondent talk with me about news in Britain, the news of the week, British issues, British attitudes. I hope it will be critical of Britain, though not only critical. Uh, I hope it will be searching. The idea really is to try and provide something that uh, we haven't provided before, which is to talk to people whose job it is to report on Britain and find out what they are saying to their readers and their listeners and viewers. So it will consist of four foreign correspondents talking about what they see around them and hear. It will only have foreign correspondents. It will not have politicians. It will not talk about the news of the day in India or in America or anywhere else. It's strictly to get a foreign view of what's going on in Britain as others see us. That's the idea. Welcome to Dateline London, our weekly review of events and issues in Britain as seen by foreign correspondents based in this country. Let me first introduce our guests. Anne McMillan is from Canada. She's the correspondent of CBC and she works in radio as well as television. Marco Niada from Italy writes for the Milan newspaper Il Sole 24 Ore. Hans Jochen Wertke is UK correspondent of the Rheinische Merkur in Bonn, Germany. William Montebano is London Bureau Chief of the LA Times, the Los Angeles Times, and we have one British commentator, Edward Pierce, currently a columnist on a Scottish paper, The Herald. It's been a week in which Britain's position in Europe, contentious issue for 